Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, starting out the week, spreading some urea uh, on some pastures. So we've already spread a little bit today. I think it's like three o'clock, but um, had to go out on the other side of town, spread a little bit. And uh, now we spread up here on top of the hill at Ernst Burgers and we're just filling up here before we go. Uh, we're gonna go hit about a 50 acre pasture. Pretty rough, so uh, looking like it's gonna be real fun. So. We're gonna fill up, probably gonna go shut it off right now. our fancy cruise control device. Now we'll shut the PTO off. All right. Now we should be ready to go. I got this thing. It's like raining on and off today. So I got this thing where I've got it underneath the, the roof. And then the auger's sticking out. All right, over here trying to get this spread. I'm sitting at probably about uh, 30 something acres so far. I don't know if I'm gonna, I'll probably get about 40 it looks like. Um, but just watching out for little calves and stuff, trying to pay attention to make sure I don't run over anybody. So um, anyways, Cody's over here with the pasture, Hari. He's kind of dragging this around what he can here, so. Looks like this one here is uh, pretty new. Uh, don't run that way, buddy. There you go. But uh, we're spreading urea, which is a, uh, a dry form of nitrogen. So uh, it's gonna help the grass get perked up and uh, should be some pretty good grazing out here. Um, although there are a lot of cows out here, so they keep it down pretty good, but we'll get a little bit of rain tonight. It's looking like, hopefully, we'll get a little bit of rain tonight, and then that'll soak this in, and uh, that grass will get a hold of it and take off. And then Cody's running the pasture hurry over it, so that'll help work it in a little bit more as well. And then that's also gonna level off all this uh, manure that's out here. Um, that kind of spreads it out and, and lets some of that nitrogen and fertilizer go to work so uh, i'm getting pretty close to getting done here i've just got a little bit left here in the middle you can really see what that thing's doing now he came through this one little spot and you can see works everything up pulls up all the old grass that's underneath and then lets the new growth come through so uh, that thing works really good we try to get it over all of the pasture ground and uh, I, i'd say it's uh, worth the time to do it here you can kind of see where it's uh, spreading out some of that cow manure. Um, there, it just kind of drags it out because those nutrients don't really do a whole lot when they're sitting there in a pile. So if you can get it spread out, that grass can get a hold of those nutrients that are left over in that manure, and then you can you can get some uh, free fertilizer out of that. So um, you can't really get back in there too much. It gets pretty pretty rolling and and a lot of trees and brush back in that way but uh, it really opens up when you get out here in this area so uh, we get as much as we can okay I'm finished up now and uh, that thing doesn't like to go away on the screen it's kind of annoying hang on you can see here uh, what our map looks like so can see the kind of the, the shape of the 
pasture and then uh, what we can get. So that's about as good as I can do. You could probably get a little bit better if you wanted to spend more time, but um, it's probably not worth it because you'd end up tearing up something. Okay, well, I got the bottom part spread. So there's the bottom down here by the barn. I can show you that in just a second. You can see where we did earlier. And then I did the couple small lots that are right there. And then this right here is a big blank area in the middle. So the property line comes down on that side. Uh, that's the big hay field in the middle. So I've already spread that uh, with the AMS and uh, urea blend. So uh, we make hay off of that. And then we turn the cows in there later in the summer. So this front part is what I'm coming down on right now by the barn and stuff. This right here. So uh, anyways, got that farm done. So. Uh, that's a good one to have checked off the list because that's about the roughest one that we have to spread so uh, just got a few more farms uh, we got to spread for pasture and then that'll be wrapped up for the year hopefully we'll have enough urea around to get everything done uh, it'll probably be pretty close all right we're starting off tuesday morning fixing a tractor so fixing the same line that was on our 8335 um, this is the 8310r it's actually not our tractor, I'm just fixing it. So, um, got the line out. And as you can see, here's the old O-rings. Same thing. Okay, it's, uh, I don't even know what day it is. Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. And just took another load of beans. Uh, Bob just brought that, so just got it unloaded it's kind of trying to rain a little bit but that's what that row is all the way back so 4150s and uh had to move all the corn out of the way there was two boxes of corn that came on the truck and then that pallet of corn right there and then there's another pallet back there all right well it is thursday and i've been moving seed around basically all day uh worked in the office a little bit this morning and uh my forklift has ran out of gas so I'm gonna have to get this gas tank off here and uh, get that filled back up. But I uh, made two seed deliveries a day, five boxes of beans, and then six boxes of beans. So uh, getting a little bit of room cleared out here, and then I should be able to take out about uh, see four, probably another six boxes of beans tomorrow, and then actually probably eight boxes of beans and then uh, a little bit of corn should be able to get most of most of that going tomorrow so um, that'll be good to get some room in here get that delivered so uh, nobody's none of the customers are waiting on me to uh, to get that there so we're still waiting on a little bit of corn and a little and some beans yet uh, to get shipped in here. We got about, looking like about two loads um, that we got to go pick up between corn and beans. So uh, I don't know if we'll be able to quite get it on two loads or not. We'll just have to see what happens. But um, anyways, that's what we've been working on today. Trying to get this stuff organized. I pulled out those three boxes of beans because I know that we're going to need a few of those for uh, a couple of customers. So uh, those are buried all the way back here behind this corn uh right here no right there and so i wanted to get a few of those out before i stacked all the corn in the way of that because um this corn has been in the way because there's only like two varieties of of you know that are the same so it's not like you can just make a whole whole run of it like we do with the beans so I'm trying to get those to where we don't have to move them all the time but Anyways, we got too many tractors in here. Uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get a couple tractors out of the back here so I can get some seed in here because although we have two loads uh, to pick up yet from Bex um, for our seed beans, we've got to pick up. It's that's gonna be about a load of uh, of bags. They they send those in the uh, in the big um, bags, so they come on pallets. So that's probably gonna be about a semi load that we'll have to pick up of those. So, um, still got a lot of beans to come in yet. So we're gonna have to get some room here. And, but uh, 
we fit it in every other year so i'm sure we will we'll fit it in here again so anyways i'm gonna try to get this gas tank filled up that way i can get the rest of this organized and then we should have a, some room here in the shed and then we need to uh on this 6150r um this is getting demoted or promoted to bush hogging duty this year uh whether that's a good thing or a bad thing probably a bad thing for the uh for the the quality of the tractor but um it can get a little bit a little bit rough on the bush hog but anyways we've got to uh spread the wheels out so we got to bring them out a little bit and uh get them so that way we don't flip this thing over uh it's set on row crop right now so because i was using it to uh side dress corn with so anyways we gotta get that moved out and then uh, uh that'll be ready to go on the bush hog so we can get that out of here and uh so just gotta get some time get some room work on this stuff it's been cold outside so it's been hard to do anything outside um but hopefully it'll start warming back up tomorrow it's not supposed to be raining tomorrow it's been raining on and off all day today so trying to get seed delivered without getting rained on it's been difficult but anyways we'll uh get to that another day but uh we'll probably see you tomorrow hey everyone thank you for watching this week's video um please like and subscribe down below and uh we'll see you next week